This is Chess Tacho. The study of consciousness has long been a topic of fascination for scientists and philosophers alike. But measuring and studying it presents significant challenges. One of the main issues is the lack of a universally accepted operational definition. Most experiments that are specifically about consciousness, verbal report is the criterion used to measure it. This means that subjects are asked to describe their experiences and their descriptions are treated as observations of the contents of consciousness. For example, when subjects stare at an echo cube, they usually report that they experience it flipping between two. 3D configurations, even though the stimulus itself remains the same. Verbal report is considered the most reliable indicator of consciousness, but it raises several issues. For one, it is difficult to determine if subjects could be wrong about their own experiences. Additionally, this approach restricts the field of study to humans who have language, making it impossible to study consciousness in other species, pre-linguistic children, or people with types of brain damage that impair language. However, verbal report is not the only criterion used to measure consciousness. In medicine, consciousness Consciousness is assessed as a combination of verbal behavior, arousal, brain activity, and purposeful movement. The last three can be used as indicators of consciousness when verbal behavior is absent. Nevertheless, their reliability as indicators of consciousness is disputed due to numerous studies showing that alert human subjects can be induced to behave purposefully in a variety of ways despite reporting a complete lack of awareness. Another approach to measuring consciousness is the mirror test for self-awareness, which examines whether animals can differentiate between seeing themselves in a mirror versus seeing other animals. If animals recognize themselves, they will typically attempt to remove or touch a spot of coloring on their skin or fur near their forehead. Humans, great apes, dolphins, orcas, pigeons, magpies, and elephants have all been observed to pass this test. For many decades, consciousness as a research topic was avoided by mainstream scientists due to the feeling that a phenomenon defined in subjective terms could not be studied using objective experimental methods. However, starting in the 1980s, an expanding community of neuroscientists and psychologists associated themselves with a field called consciousness studies, giving rise to a stream of experimental work published in books, journals, and regular conferences. Modern medical and psychological investigations into consciousness are based on psychological experiments and case studies of alterations in consciousness produced by trauma, illness, or drugs. The ultimate goals are to develop techniques for assessing consciousness objectively in humans as well as other animals and to understand the neural and psychological mechanisms that underlie it. In conclusion, measuring the unconsciousness presents significant challenges due to the lack of a universally accepted operational definition. While verbal report is the most reliable indicator of consciousness, it raises several issues and other approaches have been proposed such as arousal, purposeful movement, and the mirror test for self-awareness. Nonetheless, measuring consciousness requires further research to fully understand and measure this fascinating phenomenon. This is Chestacho.